Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's the S and M Forever. If you're a new subscriber, welcome so much. If you're a returning subscriber, also welcome. And don't forget to follow us on our Instagram page at Sarah Mirage Lekolol. So this video today we are going to talk about uh, how we met. Yeah, how we basically met. And before we talk about how we basically met, we are going to do like a picnic here. We came with some drinks and some food. Like I prepared some. <clears throat> Some, some beans mm. and some chapatis for him to like eat before we like start the video so without any further ado you're going to allow us to enjoy our meal which is uh, beans chapati and some avocado and then some few drinks and then we are going to get back to you guys when we are done with eating so that we can narrate to you the story about how we met so stay tuned keep watching keep, keep subscribing and don't forget to like, share, and comment. And see you when Bye we. Uh -huh. Bye for now. See you when we start on the story about how we met. Bye. Okay, so guys, we are finally back from our lunch, and we had some chapatis and beans. And how are they? Yeah, we're okay. Well, he says they were okay, but I feel like there should be more improvement this time round. I did something wrong that i knew later on after eating after tasting the chapatis so guys now we are going to like give you the story of how we basically met so do you remember the first place where we met like the first place where we both met in person in person mm -hmm. well, that was at the airport in Nairobi, I guess. yeah we, in, yeah. yeah we basically met the first first place we met in uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport back in Kenya but this was something we had already like started talking a few months how mm, long was it? I guess I mean we met up in March uh -huh. of last year February. Well, no, February mid February yeah, February. yeah uh -huh. mid February uh -huh. so it was I guess um, two months. about two months after we got to know each other. Yeah, we had known each other for at least two months. But we met and how, like, when you first saw me, was it like what you expected or was it how I described you? But basically we had been vi doing video calls. Yeah. Basically every day we did video call. We also did long distance relationship for quite some time before I joined you here in Germany. Mm, yeah, I mean that was another five months. Five was it five? Mm. Like we met in February and I came to Germany in August, right? Mm. So we met in February, but we basically started talking on December twenty fourth. Mm, yeah, twenty third, I think. Or oh, December twenty third. So from December twenty third up to February. Mid February, I don't know, fifteen, six. No, before oh. before Valentine's. Oh. Because on Valentine's you were in Mumbai. What? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he, we, we started talking on the 23rd of December. Mm. And from the 23rd, we had a short period of like almost two months. And then he came to Kenya to come and see me and to come and like see if I'm a real person or not. But of course, I'm a real person. Or to come and see if the person he was talking to was me. And to your surprise, was it me or no? <laughs> it was. Yeah, it was me. But generally, we did not meet on any like specific dating site app. We did not meet like on the streets or any other place. We personally like um, were both given each other's number yeah she was given by her sister and i was given by my auntie who live in they both live in italy and they both gave us the number and who was the first person to text the other person was it you or me it was me it was him who texted me first and during our first like video calls for those who have dated like this who dated like us like with the long distance and talking it was so hard for him to like communicate or for me to like communicate because generally we didn't like know each other that much so the basic place where we both met was like we were both given our contacts by 
our relatives like by my auntie and he was given by his sister and that is where we like both met and then after he came to kenya he went to my family's place and what was your impression about like my family or how did you like see it when you came to kenya was it how you expected it or was it like too much for you or was it i mean i don't know i guess we talked about a few things beforehand like what i should expect like food wise how i should introduce myself to your dad and stuff like that so i didn't feel like uncomfortable or anything i was just i don't know was okay with how things went i guess yeah and i guess also my family was very okay with how things went with him because in the beginning when we first started, we first started talking he told me that he was quite tall right I don't think I said that. Not not tall, tall, as in you're like your your mm. a certain height, like you're tall or I don't even know how to put it. But when I met him, I was like, oh, okay, you're basically like on the same level almost. But the height wise, I think me and him we are like okay. Mm. He's a bit taller than me, but with time I see that I'm going to be taller than him, but not. <laughs> not that much but anyway that is not like any concern of if he's tall or short or whatever as long as there is a connection so yeah and then from when you went to my family you basically went to Mombasa what was your overview about Mombasa so he has been to Kenya but only for two weeks yes he has yes. been to Kenya but only for two weeks and then he came to Germany and then we started like processing my process on how we are going to come here but that is just something else that we are going to do a video about like coming to germany for me was not easy mm. it took five, five months. months yeah it took five months and we had gone through hell like to be able to just like come here just took me quite some time and it just took me a lot of like energy strength and also for him he helped me so much and I can assure you that he did more than I did because he was the one even looking for how I'm going to get this, how I'm going to do this. Because you all know that getting some things from Kenya is not easy or also like getting things processed in embassies or any place is not easy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that is a story for another day. I will tell you on how my processing, on how I processed my visa and how I was able to come to Germany because it's almost now a year since I've been here in Germany. And me and him have known each other for almost now two years. But that is a bit overstating. It's like it has been one year and but it's Six going months, to, maybe. But it's going to one and a half. Mm. Okay, we've known each other for one and a half years and we are also like married, like we're already husband and wife, but that will be a story for another day. We'll celebrate our <laughs> one year anniversary with you guys as time goes by. So you give me an overview of how Mombasa was. What did you like see from Mombasa? What were the things that really attracted you in Mombasa? Did you like or no? Yeah. No, that is a bit hard to like. I mean, one easy thing, I guess, is climate wise. Mombasa, I mean, it's not that hot, but um, it doesn't really cool down at all in the night. So that is a bit hard to tolerate, I guess. Mm -hmm. But we did have like uh, uh how do you call fun no or not just a fun uh, like um uh, forgot how these things are called but uh, yeah so basically that was tolerable and apart from that i mean i guess the the place where we have been was nice food wise not as much as <laughs> so we are not going to say which hotel we went mm. to in Mombasa he didn't like the food as much in Mombasa but what are some of the foods that you liked that you ate from Kenya like state some of the foods that you really felt yeah these were nice foods that I would eat again I would like you to prepare them for me once in a while 
prepare one, you know, that is chapati. Yeah, speak a bit like that. Mm. Uh -huh. One? Yeah, chapati. Uh -huh. He likes chapati so much, he would eat chapati every day if, if he was told to choose a food that he would want to eat every day. Okay, chapati and... Like you have to state three of them that you like. Uh -huh. Chapati. Um, yeah. What's it called? Ugali. Yeah, well, kind of, but I wanted the, the tomato. Tomato? Yeah. Which ones are those? Mm. Eggs. Bari. Oh, yes. He's saying kachumbari because I really didn't understand what he was saying. He likes like chapati, kachumbari, and maybe ugali up to a point, but also ugali he likes. So, in case we come to Kenya for the my followers, we will meet up with a few of you, and you know that he likes chapati and kachumbari and some nyamchom, right? Mm. Roasted meat, yam chom. He likes so much. So maybe you could prepare that and then we come and do a YouTube video. But anyway, I'm just joking. Yeah, so basically, that is where we generally met. Like at the airport, that was our first place where we both met. And yeah, we picked up things from there and we went on with like. Pro That's not, I mean, that is another story, I guess. But there's a few things. Yeah, so also getting a husband has to come from God. Like, getting a husband is not something that you just sleep and wake up and just get a husband. Hmm. What do you think? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah, what would you say about, like, getting a wife? You think it's just something that just happens? But, I mean, for sure I wasn't expecting this to happen at that point in time, but mm. you never know. Yeah, like, we both were just trying and seeing, okay, how will this go on? And then, just God made it happen for the two of us. And we are so happy. And for those who are still searching, we are just praying that God may uh, listen to your prayers and may see you through about searching. You don't have to generally look for a white man or for whoever God gives you. What I tell most of the people that talk to me about like marriage and everything is that that person that God has given you or that person who is at this point in your life, you should just take the person and be able to live with the person because it is not as easy as people make it easy outside here that yeah, marriage is all, it is not. You just have to be able to to pick yourselves up. Huh? My guy doesn't want to say a lot because he might don't know if he knows a lot about this. Thing. <laughs> huh? Do you? About, about like picking up somebody and just making them making them what? your wife or uh -huh. building up something with them well i mean i guess that is a process how should i put it it's not something that happens like this yeah so